Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on The Fight Game. To hit and not get hit. That's been the aim of boxing since its roots were established. Right now, you're watching a boxing fight from 1894. Even back then, offense and defense went hand in hand. And over 100 years later, the innate psychology remains very much the same. Punish your opponent while protecting yourself. However, the yin and yang of combat, offense and defense has been mastered acutely by one particular boxer in the last few decades. That one boxer is, of course, Floyd Mayweather. A true champion can adapt to anything. Floyd Mayweather has a deep apprehension of what the sweet science entails. After 50 fights, he's seen the good and the bad. The rough and the tough, those bigger, those faster, and those stronger. Yet here he stands with a perfect professional record. 50 victories and zero losses. I have good days, I have bad days. I'm only gonna have my bad days in a boxing gym because I'm an under the lights type fighter. Because when I go under the lights, no matter how I win, I win. Many awaited wishing for his first loss, a loss that never came. His self-proclamation wouldn't seem too far-fetched from reality. That is, of course, the title of the best ever. The best at many things, outpointing his opponents, controlling the ring, noticing and capitalizing on mistakes, thriving in discomfort, Mayweather's skill set expands far beyond what's seen on the surface. From preparation to aftermath, Floyd Mayweather was perfect. With such a long career of boxing to study, Mayweather's highlights can simply be described as genius ability. Welcome to this video here on The Fight Game, where we take a look at 25 excellent moments from Floyd Mayweather's career, and we analyze the movements that helped him secure the win. Mayweather's fight against Miguel Cotto was very entertaining, but this shrewd defensive move was all for show. Off the ropes. But again, Floyd with pinpoint accuracy, that's usually what... Mayweather baits an uppercut by putting his face down low and sees it easily coming with an uninterrupted view. We know Floyd Mayweather is a defensive genius. His mastery of the shoulder roll defense is fundamental to his boxing style, but his ability to counter from such positions is what truly makes him one of the best. And Mosley needs it desperately. This counter against Shane Mosley was effortless yet effective. He defends two jabs to the body with his left arm, then rolls the right hand with his left shoulder, then on the rotation back, he lets go of a right hand and lands clean. Mayweather vs Pacquiao was a massive worldwide attraction to all sporting fans. Floyd Mayweather's right hand was paramount in defeating Manny Pacquiao, and this right hand counter is technically brilliant. He leans back just enough to avoid the jab, then retains his lower positioning as he throws a straight right hand to land clean. Mayweather's fight versus Arturo Gatti was a gruesome beatdown, but him landing four straight right hands is a thing you don't often see in a boxing ring. Oh, what a left hook. By Whoa. turning it to his old man. And a right hand, two right hands, three right hands. What? Only a boxer like Floyd Mayweather is able to pull that off. In that same fight, Mayweather also let go of a destructive combination filled with mean intention. Hard to just snap your fingers and then make him a brawler all over again. They took a long time to turn Gotti back into a boxer, and he's paying for it. Mayweather was known as a monster in his early days of professional boxing. In his fight against Juan Manuel Marquez, he showed a fine execution of his signature move called the pull counter. They'll still be looking for one big shot on Mayweather and trying it. Mayweather extends his upper body to bait a jab from Marquez. He pulls back to make Marquez miss, then counters over that miss with a right hand, then ducks to avoid Marquez's right hand. In his fight against Robert Guerrero, Mayweather had some really skillful moments. Here, Mayweather lands a jab, jumps back to avoid Guerrero's left hand. Then Mayweather lands another jab, then dodges the right hand by exiting out to the side. 
In that same fight, Mayweather also landed a beautiful long right hook. Here's the variation. He throws it. He throws the right hand around. He throws it to the stomach. He throws it to the head straight. He throws it around again. Mayweather double taps with the jab to measure the distance for the right hook around the side. The nonchalant manner in which he throws the double jab is a stark contrast in pace to the right hook, making it hard to time through way of rhythmic deception. Floyd Mayweather's epic boxing clinic against Canelo Alvarez is one of his most famous, and for good reason, too. And if it is hurting him, uh, he's masked it very well. And Canelo, at this point... So close, but yet so far. In his fight against Shane Mosley, Mosley started complaining during the fight. Protect yourself at all times. Back to the Canelo fight, we have to highlight this great uppercut. Double jab through the guard and that right hand. Mayweather taps Canelo's guard three times with light jabs, then throws the uppercut hard. The three light taps to the guard causes Canelo to relax, allowing Mayweather to break through the guard with ease. Floyd Mayweather's two-fight affair with Marcos Maidana was packed with drama. Head to the championship rounds. It's the moment at the MGM Grand. Here, Mayweather steps back just enough to avoid the jab and quickly returns with a straight right of his own. That wasn't the only great right hand he landed in that fight either. That overhand right goes to the body with the jab. Floyd Mayweather is a master at managing and understanding distance. Watch how Mayweather baits a jab from Maidana by leaning in his upper body. Then he leans back for Maidana to miss, then comes back with a straight right hand. Also, watch how he speeds up the counter by pushing off his rotated back foot. This great body shot in the second fight had perfect technique to get inside the defense of Maidana. Floyd Mayweather's brutal knockout of Ricky Hatton was his genius ability at its full potential. Doing effective work when you get close, and I tell you, I think it's the hand oh, he's got it there. Mayweather made Hatton follow him back to the corner in a straight line, and then left hooked off to the side when Hatton jumped in. The move is most notoriously known as the check left hook. Against De La Hoya, Mayweather was incredibly difficult to catch. Floyd Mayweather, he's so quick and slinky with his right hand. Even against the ropes, Mayweather still seemed to be just out of reach. Against Victor Ortiz, Mayweather set up a right hand with his lead hand. And you to, in the case of Ortiz, Mayweather cleverly extends his left hand to obscure Ortiz's vision, then replaces it with a right hand. Mayweather is a man of tricks and disguises. In the next round of the same fight, Mayweather landed another great right hand. Mayweather gets his head off the straight line while he throws the right hand, dodging the jab completely and landing the right hand of his own. A very good showcase of his technical ability. Mayweather's fight against McGregor was a fun fight for all involved, and this right hand was the best punch of the night. Two, but it's Mayweather who's had more success in that department. And I we have to put it in slow motion to actually see the clarity of its effect. Back to the Maidana fight. Mayweather lands a punch after missing one. Where one door closes, another door opens. As Maidana comes up from the roll, Mayweather catches him clean. Mayweather's farewell fight against Andre Berto saw him land a series of punches to the body. Making this a fight a little right now. And Mayweather is going to the body, attacking with the right hand. Only Mayweather is able to land four consecutive shots to the body like that. Mayweather's pull counter is a scoring shot, but sometimes it's a little bit more. Really the man who's training Louis Leja for this fight, Jesse Ravello, was an Olympic coach. Down. Once again, Mayweather quickly leans back to avoid the jab, which pulls the opponent towards him, then pushes off his back leg to return fast with the right hand. In the Canelo fight, Mayweather showed some really intelligent boxing. Seconds left, doing his best to do just the jab triggers an attack, of which Mayweather dodges and capitalizes on. Mayweather is a genius when it comes to making them miss, and making them pay. Shoulders and Mayweather with the jab, sticks the right hand. Mayweather deflects the right with his shoulder, then returns with a right of his own. 
Mayweather's right hand often lands when his opponents least expect it. Mayweather always manages to land it with pinpoint accuracy. That was 25 times where Floyd Mayweather showed genius ability. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. What do you think of Floyd Mayweather, and where does he rank on your list for the greatest boxer of all time? We'll see you in the next video here on The Fight Game.